Hello and welcome to another video and in this video we are going to be playing the high stakes card game Cards of Doom. Best game show voice there, not very good but I guarantee not the worst silly voice you will hear in this video. Now the rules of Cards of Doom are relatively simple. There's 12 blue cards and there is the Card of Doom. It's a two player game and on your turn you can take one, two or three cards. You can't pass, you have to take cards and you can take one, two or three. You can't take four, five is right out of the question. The aim of the game is to leave your opponent having to pick up the card of doom. All right, now this is a two player game and I'm recording this video alone, uh, hence I can do the silly voices. Um, so I am going to need the assistance of an imaginary friend. So if I could introduce you to Bob, and Bob is, as we will soon discover, the world's worst Elvis impersonator. Um, welcome, Bob. Well, thank you very much. Yes, I probably should have guessed that you were going to say that. Um, now, I am a very polite host, and so I am going to ask Bob if he would like to go first, though secretly I'm also a very rude host, and this means I am going to win. Uh, so, Bob, would you like to take one, two, or three cards? Well, I um, think I'll take uh, three cards. Oh, well, huh? uh, three cards. Oh, well, ho. Right, right. Well, in that case, I think I am going to take one card. All right, one card. There we go. Now, uh, your turn again, Bob. Uh, would you like to take um, one, two, or three cards? Well, yeah, I'll take uh, two cards, please. Uh, two cards for the man with the terrible American accent. Um, in which case, I think I will take uh, these two cards over here. Um, now, that means it's your turn again. And uh, can I ask you, Bob, would you like to take one, two or three cards? Well, oh, no, you got me. All right, I'm, I'll take one card. Oh dear, uh, yes, I'm sorry, Bob, but you've guessed it. I'm going to take these three cards, and I'm terribly sorry, but, Bob, you're going to have to take the card of doom. I'm sorry, but you've lost. Well, oh no, I've been defeated. Bob has left the building. Unfortunately, I think we've just lost Bob there. All right, now, as I think you will have spotted in the last group of four cards, and as Bob certainly spotted, this game is not fair. Um... There is a strategy for the second player always to win. And the this is useful for explaining all sorts of things. It's useful for explaining algorithms. I uh, use it at uh, various outreach events. And I didn't invent the game, I should say. I borrowed it, it's been floating around. Um, but it is also useful for showing how just through representing information differently, we can make things much more obvious. So um, it took Bob until that last group of four cards to see what was going on. But if I was to lay them out instead so that the cards were all in groups of four, uh, I think it would become visible an awful lot faster. Now, unfortunately, Bob has left the building, so I am going to need another imaginary friend. And so I'm going to need to introduce my uh, imaginary friend, Eric, to help me out with this one. Uh, once again, as with Bob, uh, Eric being imaginary doesn't really have any arms, so I will be playing the cards for him. Um, but anyway, uh, would you like to say hello, Eric? Hello, how are you doing? And where, where are you from, Eric? Well, I don't really know. I'm just kind of one of those accents you pick up around a place. Um, yes, OK, OK. Well, anyway, I, I'm sure you saw what was happening there previously. And so I suspect this time when I go first, you are going to defeat me. Oh, well, I hope so. I hope so. Um, all right. Now, my first turn, I'm going to take one card. And what would you like to do, Eric? Well, uh, I think I'll just, I'll, I'll just clear up the group. I'll just take those three there, then. All right, thanks. And so I'm going to need to start the next group. And so if I was to take two cards, then what would you like to do, Eric? Well, oh well, yeah, I think I'll just clear up the group again. I'll, t I'll take those two. Thank you very much. Um, all right. And it's my turn again. And I'm in Bob's situation. I can see four cards here. And no matter what, what I do, well, let's just take one card. And what are you going to do? Well, I'll take three cards. And oh, you've got to pick up a card of two. I've won. I've won my first time. And I've won. Yay! All right, all right, all right. Enough of the silly voices there. But so hopefully this kind of shows how um, how we use this at outreach sometimes for showing young children um, things about algorithms, because if you lay them out in groups and so there is four times K plus one cards and we can show how, you know, one player can take 
a card and the other the other player can always make up a group of four so the next time around there's four times k minus one plus one cards there until it goes down to one card being left and so the the second player always wins and so you can kind of explain how you can build up arguments around algorithms but you can also kind of just visually see what's going on if we lay it out like that now the next one i'd like to do i'm going to do another game and this one again i did not invent and for this one i do need to lay out the cards in a particular order you see the way this game is going to work i need to put one two three uh where's four gone there is four uh there's five six seven eight uh, nine and we don't need to go to the hexadecimal all the, all the way up in the hexadecimals uh, but I do need to fit them in the frame now this game this is a different game and what we are going to do uh, is two player game again and on your turn you can take one card of your choosing and the aim of the game is to have three cards that add up to 15 uh, it doesn't matter if you've got four cards in your hand so long as there's a combination of three of them that adds up to 15. And I'm going to play this with my friend Eric again. And this time, um, as I feel as though uh, having lost that game, I, I feel as though, you know, loser's privilege, I should be able to go first. And so on my move, I am going to take card number five. And what, what, would, you, what would you like to do, Eric? Oh, well, I'll, I'll, I think I'll take, um, I think I'll take card number three then. All right, card number three going across to Eric. Uh, my turn. Um, I'm going to grab card number six. Uh, what would you like to do, Eric? Oh, well, let me see. Um, six plus five is 11. Or, well, I, I better grab that four. Otherwise, you're going to grab the four. And six, five, and four, is, is, is that's 15. So uh, I better grab the four. All right, my turn. Now, um, three plus four is seven. Uh, I'd better go and take the eight over here. Um, your, your turn, Eric. What would you like to do? Oh, well, um, looking at your cards, uh, well, the 8 and 5, 13, uh, I, I, I better grab the 2, I better grab the 2. All right, all right, and um, my turn, I, I think I'm going to grab the 7 over here. Oh, yeah, you missed it, you missed it. Sorry, I missed it? Oh, well, yeah, you missed it. I'll, I'll show you at the end. Um, but I'm going to take the 1, I'm going to stop you winning, I'm going to take the 1. All right, all right, uh, 1 going across to Eric. And uh, I think, well, I, I better take that. Um, oh, actually, I do still want, I, uh, no, no, no. Nine and six is 15, but of course that's only two cards. And as soon as I had another card, I'm over. Um, no, um, so it, it does look, uh, yours four, so no, there's no combination. Okay, okay, that was a draw. But you, you're saying I missed one. Yeah, yeah, you missed one. Well, you got the, you got the eight and you got the six and that's 14. You could have grabbed that one and you, you, you could have won the game, but you missed it. All right, well, so clearly this, this game was cognitively too taxing for me and I, I missed that one. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out these cards differently again and we're going to spot something about the game that will make it so much easier. So we're going to put the five in the middle. I'm going to put the nine down the bottom and I'm going to put the one at the top. And so that means that column adds up to 15. I'm going to put the 8 next to the 1. 8, 5 is 13, so I'm going to put the 2 over here. So that's now 15. 11, I'll put the 4 here, make that 15. Uh, 8, 4, 12, put the 3 there, that's 15. Um, 3, 5, 8, so let's put the 7 there, and that's 15. It's 2, 7, 9, 6 goes in the corner, that's 15 and six, seven, 15. So we've now got a magic square uh, in which every row and every column adds up to 15. And so we're gonna discover that this cognitively taxing, adding up combinations of three numbers to see if any of them will make 15 is noughts and crosses. And so if I was to go first and we could try and, try and replay the game, except I will suspect I won't get it wrong. I believe I went for number five first and then it was Eric's turn and oh yeah I think I went for number three I think I think I went for number three all right and you went for number three and I went for number uh, I went for number six didn't I? I went for number six yes and that was up here I guess and I, I had to go for the four to stop those adding up to 15 uh, so I went there oh yes and I spotted that you could have added up to 15 um, there uh, I believe uh, actually, no, what, what, did, what did I do? Yes, I, I, I think I must have. I think I must have gone there. Oh, well, well you, yes, yes. And um, uh, I think, hang on, what was it? We've got the eight there. I think I spotted 
the eight and the five and I took the two and you missed the eight, the six and the one and instead you grabbed that seven over there. All right, I grabbed the seven over there and yeah, that didn't really do me much good. Yeah, and so I was able to get one in, in there and stop that one. And and yes, and I then went down here and I uh, struggled for a while to work out whether anything added up to 15. But looking at it this way, of course, we can see, we you know, we just have to join the lines and we can see uh, what's going on. <clears throat> so this is another example of how just through representing the information differently, we can make the same game cognitively much easier because adding combinations of three numbers to 15 is something we find hard to do. Um, but visually perceiving whether something is going to make up a line is something we find much easier. Uh, so thank you very much, Eric, and thank you very much for watching, and thank you very much for forgiving me for my silly voices.